I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Canada to introduce an address by the head of government. Mr. President, fellow delegates, my friends. Permit me, Mr. President. 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 Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. The goal of this manipulation, and has been for a very long time, is to get the world population, or that majority of it anyway, to see as a good idea or the only option in given circumstances, circumstances that are manipulated into place, the creation of a one world government to which nation states would be principalities, administrative units, a world central bank which would administer all financial transactions on the planet, a world currency which wouldn't be coins and notes, it would be merely electronic, cashless society for which there are fundamental implications for freedom as we'll see as we go along tonight. Now is the historical moment, the time, not only to fight severe virus but to shape the system. And there is a global pyramid within which all these work, in which the peaks of all these individual pyramids, banking, uh, business, media, etc., fuse into one peak. And up there, it's speculated by many people, there perhaps may be no more than 13 families, 13 people at the peak, pervading down through these different levels the same basic policy, which is pushing the world towards more and more centralization of power. The so-called Great Reset is not a conspiracy theory. It is a actual set of, of concrete proposals being advocated by some very influential people and including apparently by Prime Minister Trudeau. And what we saw in the First World War and the Second World War were massive global examples of problem reaction solution which work like this. The problems created secretly. You then use the media, which isn't difficult, to wind up public opinion in relation to your manufactured problem to the point where public opinion utters the classic words, something must be done, this can't go on, which is always, always followed by, give my power away, what are they gonna do about it? And at that point, those who created the problem and got someone else to be blamed for it wound up that public reaction, then openly in the public arena, in the parliaments of the world, uh, on the, in the newspapers and on the television, offer the solutions to the problems they have created. And in doing so, they get vast numbers of people to demand what they want to do anyway.